Hello? Yeah. Oh, is this the tripod shop? Yeah, actually I needed a tripod. Yeah, sure. We have a lot of tripods. Which tripod do you want? Oh, which one? Mm, I'm actually thinking how about a Peak Design Travel Tripod? Oh, you want Peak Design Travel Tripod? Why not? Sure, let me check. Oh, sorry, we don't have that. Do you want something else? How about any Manfrotto Tripod? Oh, Manfrotto. Sure, sure. We don't have that as well. Uh, just send me a decent good looking tripod that is like durable and can like just work in tough condition as well and isn't way too expensive. Well, I might just have something for you. Yeah, well, please, if you can, do send me a video so that I can decide whether or not to order the tripod. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, okay, bye. So, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prozography. In this channel, we talk about videography and photography. And it's been long since we have posted a video but from now on we'll try to be continuous okay just try no promises so today i'm going to show you my new tripod and going to show you some of the features and whether you should not buy it basically this tripod is jmary kp2264 now obviously like you saw in the clip before i wanted to get something like peak design travel tripod and manfrotto but since they aren't available in nepal if i order them from like some other stores that bring me from india or something like that it will cost me like double the price of what it is i have bought this uh, tripod at jmary kp2264 now although this might not be as famous as peak design and man photo tripod but this still is good enough so stick around till the end to know everything about this tripod so first of all just look at this tripod this is amazing it comes in two color black and blue i actually ordered a black version but they sent me the blue and i did not want to return it just for a color other time i would but this time i did not want to like take go through the whole process of returning and getting a refund and reordering that is just too much the name tag in it and the details or the description in the app showed me like it is just 1.4 kg but in reality this is like uh, 4 kg so this is not like a travel tripod but yes you could carry it with you and take to places so first of all what is the first thing that you look in a tripod aside from its design okay obviously i'm kidding design is important but not as much as durability so talking in terms about durability like this is a tripod that weighs 4 kg although in description it said 1.4 kg so it's like two three times more but since it is like 4kg it can also carry like much heavy cameras now honestly i just shoot with my smartphone so i don't really know uh, how much or which cameras can it carry but from my experience i think that this will be able to carry like some bigger cameras such as black magic pocket 6k pocket 4k and all other normal cameras such as sony a7s3 and uh, canon r5 and each and every other cameras obviously like this is not a tripod for like huge cinema cameras but i still think like if you like don't open this lid of the tripod then it will be able to hold a red komodo 6k okay so the second thing that i needed the most in a tripod was like good height and although in the description it did say like six feet but if you saw the centimeters area and if you convert it into feet it would be somewhere like 5.7 feet and in reality it is that much like it's just as my length and i am 57 so this is also 57 now most of the like comments uh, or reviews claim that this is like six feet but for it to be true either they have to send me the wrong package or i just became five seven to six feet just overnight and i don't even know so the interesting thing about this tripod is that they have focused on like very little details for example yeah this is not as light as a peak design travel tripod so this is not like a travel tripod which you could like carry and go anywhere but still you can like put it in your bag and go to places of course it is going to be heavy but it is also going to be durable even when like there is like wind it is still going to be able to take that it also has a hook in the middle now there is where we keep sandbag or if you don't have sandbag keep any bag filled with stuffs and just put it so that the wind can't move it not just that it has like this ball head kind of a leg which means that if you are in a place where like there is different uh, altitude in the same place then you can just move the leg of your tripod to get it in the same position instead of just opening the whole lock and closing it 
and the screw and like the build of this tripod is like just amazing like when you open it when you close it you know that this is like a really really high product the only complaint that i have about this tripod is that in this mouth or this holder whatever you call it like there was a button that every time i screw any phone it would just poke the phone so i just cut it myself and this is the hole that you see if you order it at first there won't be this hole this is so easy to put your cameras and phone on like all you do is just open take out put your phone and camera and then just put it back in simple as that it also has this like green color of this circle of something that like shows you whether or not like your tripod is completely straight because sometimes you think it is straight but then it is not so by seeing this you can know that if it is straight or not and you can adjust your tripod with the same way and not just that like this is a tripod that can be converted into monopod what is a monopod like a tripod with just one legs a tripod has like three legs monopod has one legs the use of a monopod is usually to suits like uh, weddings or consort where like you can uh, keep your tripod in one place for a long time like you can just adjust while moving or you need to take like upper shots and this might not be the best monopod because it's a tripod that can be converted into monopod but for like the price you're getting double things that is way too good you don't need to buy another monopod plus it is also like really really good in quality and also this is like five feet in height converting it is very easy you just screw unscrew this part take it out uh, unscrew this again and then you just have a monopod and once your work is done you just again unscrew it close it put it back again it's a tripod simple as that so that is all about this tripod but the price is little bit expensive okay it's like uh, 4000 i bought it for 3500 now before you say like this is way too expensive if you go to buy some good tripods like uh, for like professional use this is what it will cost definitely it's not something you need to get if you're just making youtube videos like this or something like that but my passion is videography even though like i know i might never be a fl real filmmaker and never make money from making videos but still like my passion is videography so this is something that I decided to invest in myself so this is like an investment but for a professional standpoint like i would say like this is really good for its price for normal users uh, you might want to buy something else so that's it for today's video we'll see you next Wednesday because from now we'll be uploading just once a week that is on wednesday and i'll see you next time follow us on like other social media platforms such as tiktok and instagram we are going to post there consistently as well so that much for today's video see you next time till then thank you and bye